Okay, my writers, so you've already read the story Jack and the Ball, and we just talked about what happened in the story, and we used this. Remember we said what happened in the story, in the beginning, the fancy word you can use is first, and then when you're talking about the middle of the story, the fancy word you could use is then, or next. And at the end, the fancy words you could use is at the end, or you could say finally, and my Y got erased. Okay, so keep those in your mind because we're going to use them right now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna write what happened in the story. And I'm gonna help you with that first sentence and then I want you to write the rest on your own. Okay, so how are we supposed to start the stories again? What was that fancy word we just erased in green? First, that's right, I'm gonna write that right away. Capital F I R S T. First, I know my story is going to start that way. Now I can plan. Writers always plan before they write. First, let's see what happened. Jack, right? First, Jack asked Bella to play with his green ball. And then I also want to say what she said. She said no. That's what we're going to write together. First, Jack asked Bella to play with his green ball. Oops, ball, period. She said no, period. That's what we're gonna write, okay, ready? First, Jack, and it's his name, so it gets to be a capital. J-A-C-K. I know that's how you spell his name because I remember seeing it in the story also. First, Jack asked, ah, ah, oh, I know that one. Ask, and then it sounds like a t at the end, but it's not, don't be tricked. Asked, it's an E-D. First, Jack asked, who did he ask? Bella, and it's her name, so it gets to be a capital. B, L, oh, that's the word bell, Bella. First, Jack asked Bella, what did he say? First, Jack asked Bella to play, right? To play. I know those words. First, Jack asked Bella to play with. Do you know that word? I'm not so sure. So when I'm not sure about words like that, sometimes I put them in boxes at the bottom. With. Let's see. W if. With. W. If. Eh. Oh, that's an I. If. Oh, like, like thought or thumb. That's two letters I know. The TH makes the th sound. Let's see. W if. With. That seems right. To play with. And then I'm going to erase this because I don't want to have it run out of space. Maybe you wrote it on scratch paper. Or at the very bottom and you have more paper than me. <laughs> First, Jack asked Bella to play with his green ball, right? To play with his, his green. Do you know that color? Green. Ooh, I think I know that one too. I'm going to do boxes really fast. Green. Green, gr, e, and I know it's two e's. Mm. Green. Here we go. Gr, oops, make it look like an R. Green ball, and I know ball is kind of like Bella ball. First, Jack asked Bella to play with his green ball. She said no. She. And it's a capital because it's a new sentence. She said, I know that word said from reading it. That was in the book. I can always look back in the book too and figure it out. She said, no, I know the word no. And I'm gonna do an exclamation mark because that was really exciting. Like when she said it, she meant it like, no, like get away from me. Okay, now that I've read it, now that I've written it, I have to read it again to make sure it's right. First, Jack asked Bella to play with his green ball, period. 
she said, no, that seems all right. I don't see anything I need to change. I have a capital at the beginning of my sentences. I have punctuation at the end of my sentences. My two names are capitalized and I think all the words are spelled right. I think I'm ready for the next sentence. So now what I want you to do is write the next part, the middle part and the end part. And remember, the middle can start with the word next or the word then. And the end part can start with at the end or finally. Can't wait to see what you wrote.